John Stuart Mill's Tyranny of the Majority, Unraveling the Complexities of Democracy and Individual Rights. John Stuart Mill, a towering figure of 19th century philosophy and political thought, addressed the potential dangers of democratic governance through his concept of the tyranny of the majority. In his work on liberty, Mill delved into the intricacies of democratic decision-making, highlighting the risks posed to individual liberty when the majorities will suppress his dissenting voices. This exploration offers profound insights into the balance between collective governance and the protection of individual rights within democratic societies. In this comprehensive article, we delve into Mill's conception of the tyranny of the majority and its multifaceted implications for his broader political thought. 1. The Tyranny of the Majority, A Threat to Individual Freedom Mill's tyranny of the majority refers to a scenario in which the majority's preferences and decisions become oppressive and limit the rights of individuals and minority groups. While democracy aims to uphold the will of the people, Mill cautioned against a form of tyranny that could emerge when the majority stifles dissenting opinions, thereby undermining the diversity of thought essential for a thriving society. 2. Democracy and Individual Autonomy Mill's political philosophy is deeply rooted in the principle of individual autonomy. He believed that individuals possess inherent rights and freedoms that should be protected from the encroachments of both governments and majorities. Mill's notion of personal autonomy aligns with democratic ideals, but he emphasized that democratic institutions must respect and safeguard the autonomy of every citizen regardless of their views. 3. Protecting Individual Dissent Mill's concern was not limited to governmental tyranny. He recognized that the majority's dominance in democratic decision-making could lead to conformity and suppression of dissenting viewpoints. He argued that a truly healthy democracy should embrace diversity of thought and allow dissent to thrive. By doing so, societies can benefit from the dynamic exchange of ideas and avoid the pitfalls of groupthink. 4. Free speech as a shield against tyranny Central to Mill's solution for avoiding the tyranny of the majority is the promotion of free speech. He believed that open dialogue, even when it challenges prevailing opinions, is essential for arriving at the truth and preventing the stifling of minority voices. Mill championed a marketplace of ideas in which differing perspectives can be heard and evaluated, contributing to a more informed and just democratic process. 5. The Harm Principle Balancing Freedom and Harm Mill's broader political philosophy is encapsulated in his harm principle, which asserts that the only legitimate reason for interfering with an individual's liberty is to prevent harm to others. This principle acts as a framework for balancing individual freedom with the collective welfare. Mill's concern with the tyranny of the majority fits into this framework, as he saw unchecked majoritarian power as potentially causing harm to individuals' rights. 6. Role of Education and Public Discourse Mill believed that an educated and informed citizenry is crucial for a well-functioning democracy. He advocated for an educated public that engages in rational discourse, making decisions based on reasoned consideration rather than emotional impulse. Education, according to Mill, enhances the ability of citizens to critically evaluate policies and proposals, reducing the likelihood of succumbing to the tyranny of the majority. 7. Limitations on Majority Power Mill's philosophy suggests that while majority rule is a cornerstone of democracy, it must be accompanied by checks and balances that protect the rights of individuals. Individuals. He proposed mechanisms, such as constitutional limitations and independent judiciary, to prevent the majority from enacting laws that infringe upon individual liberties. Conclusion The Delicate Balance of Democratic Governance John Stuart Mill's concept of the tyranny of the majority serves as a powerful reminder that the ideal of democracy extends beyond simple majority rule. In his vision, the true strength of democracy lies in its ability to protect individual liberties, foster open dialogue and promote the exchange of diverse ideas. Mill's ideas continue to resonate in discussions about the role of democracy, individual autonomy, and the importance of safeguarding minority rights within the context of collective decision-making.